Clothes are being thrown to the floor as a woman approaches the door. She senses something is wrong, but doesn't know what's going on. Inside the house, a couple is enjoying an intimate moment alone. The woman decides to enter the house, she takes her keys, and apprehensively opens the door. The man is scared. The woman with him is also scared. Quickly the man starts to get dressed and tells the woman to hide, she thought no one would show up, but he asks her to be quick and find a hiding place. The woman sneaks into the house. The couple tries to hide the clothes. The woman that appeared calls out to the man, who is trying to disguise what he was doing. They greet each other, the man makes an excuse that he's wearing a towel because he just got out of the shower, he soon changes the subject asking the woman to tell him how her day was. The truth is he's married to the woman he's been talking to. So the wife says that the day at work was very productive, that everything went well, and because of that she left early to celebrate with her husband. The woman gets up and asks if her sister was at the house, as the sister had arranged with her to deliver some things to the house, and asks her husband if she was there. He gets nervous, tries to hide it, says his wife's sister wasn't around, and makes up that he's been exercising with loud music all day, and that she might have gone there, but he might not have listened. What she doesn't know is that her sister is hiding behind the couch. The wife thinks it's best to call her sister to find out what happened. The sister surreptitiously tries to take the cell phone from the pocket of the clothes that are lying on the floor, while the woman tries to call her. The husband is nervous about the situation he has gotten himself into. The woman realizes that her sister has rejected her call, finds it strange and tries again. The sister tries to stop the cell phone from ringing. The husband tries to find excuses, and assumes that the sister must be busy. The woman assumes her sister is busy, and decides to try calling her later. Hidden, the sister feels relieved. The wife wants to celebrate the successful day with her husband, but he dismisses her, saying he's tired and asking them to celebrate later. She insists, but he says he's been exercising, and that it's stressful, and that they can celebrate later, but not now. The wife accepts, she says she will take a shower, change clothes and then they can celebrate. So, the wife says that he will not escape her this night. She goes upstairs and, when she closes the door, she is distressed with something. She takes a deep breath looking for strength for what is to come. The loving couple are trying to discuss a solution to not get caught. The cheating sister blames her lover for putting her in this situation, and says it's up to him to sort it out. Upstairs, the betrayed wife is pensive, and after a while decides to go back downstairs. The couple is arguing when they hear the woman coming down the stairs. The sister hides again behind the couch. The wife tells her husband that she has something important to tell him. He asks what happened. She replies that she lied to him about leaving work early to celebrate with him, she says it was actually a doctor's appointment. The husband asks why, asks if there's something wrong with her. She says that everything is fine, that she is pregnant. The traitorous sister is in shock to hear this information, the husband is very surprised. She adds that the best part is that they are twins, that they are going to be parents. The sister is shocked to hear about the twins. The husband doesn't look too happy. She looks happy and tells him that it would be great for them to be a family, and affectionately hugs him. She is about to leave, when she remembers something. He asks what happened. She explains that she did some tests and they found something wrong. The woman explains that she discovered a sexually transmitted disease. The husband is surprised and does not understand how he could have given this result. The woman tries to make the situation easier, implying that she caught his illness, but being understanding about it, saying that everything is fine. The traitor sister is furious. The woman continues to try to ease the situation, saying that her husband doesn't have to worry because the information will stay between the two of them, no one will know. She hugs him again and leaves the room. The husband stays behind worried. As soon as the woman leaves the room, the traitor sister comes out of hiding, and is outraged at her lover because he's supposed to have children. But the wife is hiding and catches them in the act talking. The sister is furious about the sexually transmitted disease when they suddenly realize the woman is in the room. They are startled, but the betrayed woman ironically says that they don't need to interrupt the lover's conversation, that they can continue talking. The husband tries to justify himself, but the wife doesn't accept it, she's furious at their courage in betraying her. The sister also tries to defend herself, but is prevented. The woman then asks what all this means, asks them to explain themselves, 
but both are silent. The sister asks her to calm down because of the babies, but the woman reveals that she is not pregnant, that everything she said was just a test to hear what they were going to say. The traitor sister is angry at the lies, but the woman says that she has no right to be angry, as they are cheating on her within her own house. She, screaming, orders the two to leave the house immediately, grabs her sister's arm and starts dragging her. She picks up the clothes on the floor, her husband interrupts her, asking her to calm down and let him explain, but she doesn't allow him to explain. She's very annoyed by their attitude, and says it's the last time she asks them to leave. The cheating couple finally gives up and decides to leave the house. The betrayed woman is so angry, and at the same time very upset, she cries as the couple slowly leaves the house, ashamed and walks out the door. She is filled with a mixture of anger and sadness. Remember one thing, true love doesn't deceive, doesn't abandon, doesn't reject, and most importantly, he does not throw himself into someone else's love, quite the contrary, he is full of trust and loyalty. Don't forget, every relationship quickly ends when it's supported by lies. Therefore, in order to have a good relationship and true love, always seek sincerity and be sincere.